veteran head coach Matt Gregg has seen a lot of W's and record-shattering athletes in his career. As Matt and I prepare for yet another round of playoffs uh, and a host of new basketball recruits for the coming year, we can't help but look back at some of the shining stars that put Warner Pacific on the map, which is why we are here. Matt Gregg is an exceptional coach, coach with an exquisite eye for talent, an unmatched tactician, and a rallying point for these young women. But most importantly, he is a gentle giant with a heart that loves and follows Jesus. Please join me in welcoming head coach Matt Gregg to the podium as he highlights one of Warner Pacific's shining stars. So this may be one of the easiest things I've ever done because Kelsey was certainly loved by everybody on campus, uh, everybody that had anything to do with athletics here. Um, I have a script right here, but I kind of feel like I'm going to go Donald Trump and just go off of it and do my own thing. So hopefully I don't offend anybody in the process. So when, um, <clears throat> when I first got here, uh, my assistant, I was coming from Spokane, and my assistant coach had kind of um, already seen Kelsey play and said, you've got you've to look at this girl play. So I came down. Um, we already had a letter of intent set up for her because uh, my assistant said she was going to be a good one. And I came in and I watched her play in open gym. And she played in open gym. Most girls just kind of play kind of half speed and just want to have fun. Kelsey just competed the entire time. On the floor for loose balls, running the floor hard, getting up defending, talking to people all the time. I mean, it was unusual to see that um, just in an open gym setting. So after open gym was done, I took her into the gym classroom and I was going to present her with her letter of intent. And when I was in there, I was like, this doesn't seem like enough money for you. You're so good. So I crossed it out, put a different figure on there, and she said, let's do it, right? Because I think that her other choice was Western Oregon, and so we had to make sure that she wasn't going there. So praise God she ended up at Warner Pacific, I'll tell you that much. Um, so um, the, the press clipping that um, was first on our website about Kelsey went like this. Um, the newly hired women's basketball coach, blah, 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 Matt Gregg, um, I started with a bang in signing Kelsey Matson to a letter of intent. Matson from David Douglas High School was the second leading scorer in the state at the 6A level this past season, scoring a 21.6 points per, per game clip. The guard brings her exciting game to the Knights program and will be the centerpiece for this year's recruiting class. Matson was selected as a first-team all-league player in the Mount Hood Conference. In addition, she was chosen as a member of the honorable mention Oregon Class 6A All-State team. Coach Greg says, signing a quality player like Kelsey is the first step in turning this program around. Not only is she an excellent player, but a terrific student as well, earning a GPA of 4.0 in high school. We're looking to Kelsey to make an immediate impact on this team and in the conference, and we're really excited to have her become part of our family. And that was... From high school to college, there was no drop-off. She came in. Uh, her first year, she averaged uh, 14 points and four rebounds. We made it to the semifinals of our conference tournament. Her second year, um, we lost in the first round to Southern Oregon. I don't know if you remember this. We beat them four days previously by 21, and then we lost to them in a conference tournament. Um, our junior year, she uh, averaged 16 points and six rebounds. Once again, we lost in the conference tournament and and then her senior year she averaged uh 12 and 5 and um we lost in the semifinals to a team we beat previously by 14 points so that's all coaching that the losing part but having her having her she's the one who got us there so um that was exciting um kelsey is by far the biggest competitor that i ever had um here we would be in the gym together and she she was smart enough to understand where her success was going to come from inside of our offense. And we spent hours of her shooting elbow jumpers every single day, every day. We didn't have any cones set up. We didn't have tube. We didn't have any dribble glasses. We didn't have any of that gimmick stuff. She came in and just worked hard and did what was going to make her successful. And she, I mean, she just had it figured out, right? So, um, it was exciting to have her on the floor because I knew I could trust her all the time. Um, she was going to make the right decision, 
Um, she was willing to have good conversation with me so that we were always on the same page. Um, <clears throat> and I found out how bad she, she really wanted to be on the floor was uh, a time she had, now I'm, I may be fuzzy, I'm, you know, this is a long time ago, I may be fuzzy with some details, but um, she had mono um, and she would come to practice, she would come to practice, so you don't have to be at practice. She goes, I don't want to miss anything. I said, okay, well, let's go. So she'd come with a blanket, lay on the gym floor, and she was like surrounded by juice boxes. She, she was just constantly drinking out of these little tiny juice boxes. I don't know if they were just, I don't know if she bought a case of them and had them set up there or what. I'm sure she was on antibiotics and all that stuff as well, but she kicked it in like three days. I mean, I mean to me, that's pretty impressive. Is that possible, trip that you can get over mono in three days? No, no she did it, I'm telling you. If she, wasn't, if she wasn't, she played really well afterwards, right? So um, that, that just kind of that just kind of tells you the kind of person she was. Um, and I have just a ton of stories I could tell about her. Um, and this is kind of this is the last one, and then I'll, and I'll move on. But um, we were in Montana. Uh, I drove a van of 12 girls to Montana by myself, and it was Great Falls, Montana. So uh, it was like 14 hours, right? Yeah. All of us in one van, yeah, right? Fun. It was fun. It's a good bonding time for us. So. <laughs> Um, anyway, we went to a pizza place, um, so it must have been that group down there in that picture, and you can tell there's some pizza eaters in that group, right? <laughs> so, so anyway, we go and have um, pizza, and Kelsey's kind of sitting by herself, and I'm like, what's going on? Are you sick or what? She's like, I don't eat cheese, because this, this is the first year I, you know, so she's like, I don't eat cheese, and I was like, what? Who doesn't eat cheese, right? But that was her deal. So she left and went across the street and grabbed a bagel, and she was, she was good to go. Was that right? Does I remember that right? Pizza, yeah. 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 I didn't eat pizza. Yeah, that's what I thought. So, <laughs> so anyway, we eat a lot of pizza when we're on the road, but Kelsey, that wasn't Kelsey's deal. So anyway, um, uh, her competitiveness um, on, the, on the court was rivaled by her competitiveness in the classroom. And Kelsey had a... Um, I don't know what I don't know what the word would be um, obsession maybe or I don't know what it was but I saw her notebook one time and she had like different colored pens for different things and her organization was just like ridiculous and I said what's 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 all this <laughs> right and she goes you should see what my room looks like <laughs> so she's she's very um, very organized in all of her uh, school work and um, that carried over to the basketball floor and um, I want to introduce one of her professors that she had while she was here. I'm sure he could probably um, share some stories like that as well. Uh, I want to have Dr. Brad Tripp come up for a minute. So you've heard about how Kelsey was on the ball court, and she was amazing. Um, she came to Warner as the valedictorian of David Douglas, so we didn't have a lot of academic work to do, but I remember her as a freshman. Um, she took the first test in general bio, and she got a B, and she was devastated. It was, it was like, I've never got a B in my life. Just, something's wrong. We, we, we've got to fix this. And, and she, she was in, and it was like, Kelsey, it'll be okay. You, you, you'll, you'll, we'll get through this. This is not a world tragedy by any standard. But... Um, that was her fighting spirit, and she went on to just destroy most of my classes and was generally the curve wrecker um, in, in that and, and leading the team both academically. Um, just so you know, Kelsey um, applied in her, senior, in her junior year for the Murdoch Undergraduate Scholars Research Program. That's a highly competitive program. You go against uh, students from all across the um, Portland area, um, from Fox and from Concordia, and from and she got placed. And she worked with Dr. Son at OHSU, and that kind of lit the fire in her. In addition, and she was doing that while she was going playing basketball. That was during her senior year, and and she um, made us all very very proud. Um, it takes somebody special to be not only an outstanding athlete, but to be an outstanding scholar as well. Um, I don't know who was more excited when she got accepted into the OHSU nursing program, me or her, um, because that was just what she wanted to do. We worked her 
whole senior year on her CV and her letters, and, and she, was, she was like, this is what I want to do, and I'm like, okay, well, that's a pretty tough road. We've never gotten anyone there before, and she's still the only student we've ever gotten into the OHSU nursing program. And now we have our own nursing program, so um, we'll, we'll get our students there. But that was it, was, it was a moment where she was just so excited, and I was excited for her um, in, in so many ways. Um, I remember going to watch her play and just being amazed that this was the same kid who I knew after the game was probably going to go home and study for two hours. Um, so I just congratulate you on your induction into the Hall of Fame, and I do miss you deeply. Um, I've reached out to Kelsey a couple times. We haven't been able to hook her up with our current students, but she's going to come back and give some of our senior, senior classes a talk soon. Yes. <laughs> so thank you. So the last thing um, that I want to say is just uh, I can't ever thank Kelsey enough. She was the first person I signed. She was the best player I had, the best student I had. Um, she was an example for everybody coming into this program. Um, one of the things that you know kids will ask me on recruiting visits, and it's kind of a weird question, I think, but they always say, do you play favorites? And I always say, I always play favorites, and it's the person that works the hardest. And that's why Kelsey Matson is my all-time favorite, because of that. She, no one ever, ever, ever outworked her. So congratulations, Kelsey. This is a well-deserved honor. Thank you. Kelsey, would you come up, please? <clears throat> We, uh, we're very honored to uh, present with her a Hall of Honor induction plaque for 2019. I'll read what it says so that you can kind of get those stats here. Kelsey Matson duckard Warner Pacific University Athletics Hall of Honor Women's Basketball 2019. As a member of the women's basketball team from 2008 to 2012, Kelsey Matson is one of the best to wear the Knights uniform. The 5'8 guard, known for her tenacity, was an impact player for the Knights. Her defensive prowess earned Cascade Defensive Player of the Year honors for 2010 and 2012. A versatile performer, she ended her career in the top 10 at Warner Pacific in multiple statistical categories, including field goals made um, 554, number one, free throws made 396, number one, points scored. 1,553, number two. Rebounds, 591, number two. Steals, 137, number six. And blocks, uh, 49, number seven, all-time records. <laughs> Recognized at the conference and national levels, her honors made first team all-conference in 2010, 11, and the NAIA Honorable All-American in 2011. Her excellence extended into her academic career, becoming a top student at Warner Pacific's biology program. She was the Murdoch Scholar during her senior year, working on the scientific project under the direction of established OHSU scientists. In addition, she was named CCC All Academic in 2010, 2011, and 2012, and NAI Scholar Athlete in 2011 and 2012. Duckard's success goes beyond her time on the court, with her beautiful family and a rewarding career, she is remembered as a student athlete who fully embraced education. The Knights proudly call her an alum. Yeah. Well, it's hard to imagine now with you know having a baby any day now, but basketball and school were my life for you know four years while I was here. Every time I reflect on my time here at Warner, I'm always filled with so much gratitude. There were so many people that helped lay the groundwork for my future, and I wouldn't be where I am today if it wasn't for them. Obviously, Coach Greg pushing me on and off the court and being a constant support the four years that I was here was, you know, meant everything to me. And Dr. Tripp, as he mentioned, helped me with everything to get into nursing school, and that was a major step into getting to a career that I love and have always wanted to do. And my family for being at every game and <laughs> making my life as a student athlete a little less chaotic, if that's even possible. And obviously, thank you to everybody for being here and putting this ceremony together. It just really means a lot and it's super special to me that I get to be honored in this way. 
and I look forward to what will hopefully be a lifelong relationship with Warner. So I'm just really happy to, to be here. So thankful. Yeah. This time I invite uh, Dr. Andrea Crook to come up and say a few remarks with us. Well, I watched an awful lot of those games. I have my corner where I perch in the gym and um, am a fan of our athletes because they're our students and I uh, love watching them. And Kelsey is one that I love to watch. I was never an athlete myself, but I appreciate the... Uh, the skills and the tenacity and the, the excellence that uh, Kelsey brought to basketball here at Warner Pacific. I, um, loved watch, I loved watching Kelsey as a student too. You knew that she was passionate about her learning because she excelled in it and she was committed to it. And um, it's wonderful to see you now in the career that you had um, desired to be in as a nurse, a pediatrics nurse at Oregon Health Sciences University. We were talking before, just as uh, we're starting our nursing program, about the potential for Kelsey to engage with our nursing program and to um, be a part of, of mentoring and encouraging students along the way. So um, we look forward to that. Uh, maybe when life is not quite so busy right, as it is right now, as, as you look forward to welcoming Blake. Um, uh, into your lives and, and with Bryn also. So it's really wonderful to see you and to say congratulations to you. Thanks for coming to Warner Pacific. Thanks for doing uh, just a marvelous job as a student and as an athlete. And uh, we're really, really proud of you and glad to call you uh, a person that's uh, one of our honorees in our Hall of Honor. So congratulations, Kelsey. It's great to be here with you and to see your family. I saw them in the stands. Um, along the way, and uh, so it's great to have this opportunity to just say congratulations to you. Uh -huh. 